Are you one of the 44 million Americans who fear they will never be able to repay their student loans? Are you concerned that your financial situation will continue to deteriorate? This video will encompass all the problems the students face while paying back their heavy loans and how private educational institutes have created an empire through a weapon called student loans. According to the College Board, average tuition costs doubled between 1991-1992 and 2021-2022 at public four-year colleges and private universities. The majority of students can't afford the tuition fee along with other expenses. Wages haven't kept up. Household income has been stagnant, expressed higher education expert Mark Kantrowitz. Few families cannot afford the escalating expense of college, so they increasingly depend on government and private assistance to cover the costs. According to the Student Borrower Protection Centre, the private student loan market has expanded by more than 70% during the past 10 years. Private student loan debt is currently the largest debt owed by Americans, surpassing payday loans and past due medical bills. For most households, the American economy is simply not performing as well as it once did. The cost of living has been increasing alongside the price of college, yet family income has stagnated since the late 1990s. Many students who want to pursue advanced degrees have no choice but to take out more debt. According to Kantrowitz, the federal government tends to raise student loan ceilings rather than grant amounts and called the problem solved, even though that's just putting more of the burden on the families. Consider Pell Grants, the primary federal grant program for students from low-income families. According to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, in 1975, these grants paid for 79% of a four-year public college's tuition, fees, housing, and board. By 2017, they had only covered 29% of the same expenses. We have more and more students of all income brackets taking out loans, said Michelle Asher Cooper of IHEP. As college costs have increased over the years, she said, the investment in need-based aid has failed to keep up with that rising cost. Some people may not agree that there is a student loan problem or that student loans are always negative. People never think about loans now as creating opportunity, but they do create opportunity for lots of students who otherwise would not go to college, said Sandy Baum, an expert on higher education finance at the Urban Institute. She emphasizes that most borrowers of student loans are still able to repay them and that those with bachelor's degrees continue to make more money than those with only a high school diploma. A Federal Reserve research states that the typical student loan payment is between $200 and $299 per month. If you take out a lot of loans to pay for school, your monthly payments may increase. This could mean delaying other critical financial objectives for many student debtors, like purchasing a home, saving for retirement, or setting up an emergency fund. Others may experience a significant reduction in their capacity to pay critical bills. Although federal student loan borrowers have choices to postpone repayment and lower monthly payments, the debt can still become a considerable financial burden. Your credit score may be severely damaged if you fall behind on your student loan payments, making it more challenging to qualify for other types of credit in the future. Furthermore, debt collectors could charge exorbitant fees, raising the total amount you owe. Worse, even bankruptcy cannot be used to discharge student loans when you have financial difficulties. Dave Ramsey, a financial expert and best-selling author, calls student debt evil and horrible. According to him, students should consider attending a community college or a vocational school rather than taking out student loans. If we believe student loans are so horrible and evil, which I do, then we should stop making them, Ramsey told Insider. It's intellectually dishonest for politicians to talk about forgiving student loans while still making them. Many borrowers are burdened to an unbearable degree by federal student loans, especially those who enroll in programs where the majority of students drop out where the majority of graduates struggle to find employment, or where the debts accrued are insurmountable even with a well-paying job. Millions of Americans are drowning in student debt due to the flaws in federal lending schemes. Students of color, first-generation college students, and members of lower-income families make up a disproportionate share of the struggling borrowers. And because they are concerned about the cost, many more Americans pass up the economic opportunities that a college education offers. In conclusion, there is a wide range in the financial burden of student loans. 
For instance, the white collar CEO with an MBA is not in the same scenario as the job seeking for profit school dropout. Therefore, broad or universal initiatives to lessen the burden of a student debt are aggressive and disproportionately benefit well-educated, high-income households, widening the gap between Americans with higher and lower levels of education. Student loans can be a simple and affordable option to pay for your college education. However, if you borrow too much, you may need more to pay for your expenses and may even become a significant financial burden. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching.